to invite Hayden Galena to the podium to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. Uh, please stand and join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Dave. Good evening. On this wonderful day when we are gathered together to celebrate this class and their academic success, I am humbled to stand at the podium to speak to you this evening. Welcome students, parents, family, friends, and distinguished Lake Murray Prep alumni. If you are part of our alumni family, welcome home. Please stand so that we can recognize you. supported one another as a family during their final year together. When I think about words of wisdom I can impart, I don't want to pretend to have all the answers to success. But what I do know from personal experience is that life will undoubtedly lead you in unexpected directions. Thirteen years ago, as an eager young teacher, I never would have believed that my journey would lead me here. I challenge you to embrace all the bumps and curves that your journey will bring. Run confidently towards opportunities. Uncomfortable as it may feel, say yes to the exciting and unexpected. Embrace your inexperience and not knowing how to do everything, because you'll try harder than you ever thought or imagined. My last advice to you, work hard, be steadfast in who you are, take wide in where you've been, know that you'll make mistakes throughout your journey, be resilient and ever mindful of the importance of character and integrity. As you stand on the threshold of the real world, trust yourself. You're ready for this. You've graduated from Lake Mary Prep. You have untold strength and Griffin grit inside. Thank you for an incredible year and many unforgettable memories. From countless hugs from Walker, to renting Aria and Jason and making them dance the wobble in the front lobby, from laughing at Ryan and Zach dressed in drag, to watching 12 of you sign to play your sport at the next level, from trying to keep up with you on the ropes course last fall, to crowning Queen Alik at homecoming and then again at prom. Judah and Madison weren't watching episodes of Gossip to laughing with Rena as Lauren yelled her Snapchat username to the opposing team at every home baseball game. From cheering on Moises when he finally got cleared to play soccer, to watching Leah, David, and Patrick take, take on AP Capstone like champs. From trying to teach two how to blow a bubble at senior field day, to being speechless when Reese played the piano. From crying together when we lost one of our own to leukemia, to the pride that I feel as I stand with you today. From the lifers to our newest Griffins, to me, you are all priceless, and I am grateful to have shared your senior year with you.
tonight, I also have the honor of introducing our salutatorian. <clears throat> this lovely young woman has taken full advantage of her time as a Griffin. She has been an active member of student government, National Spanish Honor Society, the Spanish competition team, and Key Club. She was captain of our girls varsity soccer team, an integral member of our lacrosse team. She is a selfless, quiet, and independent leader, often putting her teammates and classmates' needs above her own. She takes on challenges, especially as her role as a student government officer, without being asked and with effortless poise and grace. She has an amazing ability to relieve the worries and stress from those close to her. Mature beyond her years, she is described by her friends, teachers, and coaches as an old soul and a deep thinker. She is admired for all of these unique qualities, as well as her unwavering moral character. In addition to her rich and diverse extracurricular life, clearly leaving an unforgettable mark on our school, she is academically gifted and committed to continual growth. I am proud to share that she will end her high school career with an impressive 4.31 cumulative GPA. I am so excited to hear about her future accomplishments as she begins the next phase of her life this fall as a Gator at the University of Florida where she will study pre-med. She will no doubt leave her one-of-a-kind, endearing mark on the swamp. Please join me in congratulating and welcoming to the podium our 2018 salutatorian, Karina Ferran. Good evening. Okay, welcome everybody. I'd like to start off by thanking all the faculty and staff here tonight and all of my teachers and coaches. And also like to personally thank my mom, my dad, my grandparents, and my Uncle Billy for always supporting me and loving me throughout high school, middle school, elementary school, life. Um, so the graduating class before you tonight is full of accomplished young adults with different opinions, interests, and dreams. Who've, some of whom have been here for 12 years, and some of whom have been here for 12 months. But each of us comes with their own unique stories. And there are so many stories to share, and many we probably shouldn't share, so I thought I'd start off with a cute story of my own about vandalism. So, it was the Sunday before homecoming of our freshman year, and it was student government's job to set up the hallway decorations. Um, and we decided, me, Alik, and Rena, that it would be a good idea to get erasable locker markers. And so with the erasable locker markers, we wrote 2018, because we are the class of 2018 at about four foot by six foot wide and tall, and the best graffiti style font we could manage. Um, and then about a week later, we come back to the hallway, taking down decorations, and we start scrubbing at the 2018, and it was not coming off. So at first we used water, and then we used some of our spit, and finally some tears, but it didn't budge at all. And then we proceeded to raid the janitor's closet for cleaning supplies, but that didn't work. So then we raided the art room, sorry, and then we went all the way to the lower school, and it kind of started to fade a little bit before we suddenly started getting really lightheaded. So, the moral of this story is that no one will ever say that we haven't left our mark on LMP. <laughs> okay, because right now, on the other side of this stage, the lockers still read 2018. The mark we've left behind at LMP um, is part of our legacy. It's not just composed of some graffiti, but also, uh, no. <laughs> but not trophies either, or grade points. It's composed of moments and of stories. It's composed of days of laughter and of failed tests, of friendship and of drama, and of wins and losses. The mark we be leave behind as a class of 2018 is one of courage and persistence. And it's with the lives of all that we have touched along our way. So my fellow graduates, it's been an honor and a privilege to have gotten to know you. And with all my heart, I wish the best to each and every one of you. And to Anna and Aria, who won most likely to trip on the stage at graduation in our yearbook superlatives, 
Um, please watch your step because they are recording this ceremony. I love you all. Thank you. Good night. Good evening. It's uh, my pleasure this evening to introduce one of our reflection speakers. Patrick Abel is an LNP lifer. It's been my pleasure watching him progress from the younger kid brother of Hillary and AJ through those awkward middle school years to the mature, confident young man he is today. I've shared some good times with him, in particular back in eighth grade as we canoed the Missouri River together and camped out on the Lewis and Clark Trail. More recently, he's been a driving force in my new AP capstone class, leading others by example as he demonstrated his research and presentation skills. In that class, he recently offered to grade a practice essay that I wrote just to get a feel for it, and I've got to say he took his responsibilities very seriously. After lengthy deliberation, he announced to the class that first of all, he was very concerned about my writing skills, and then secondly, he needed to call a parent conference. So that hasn't happened yet, but we're still waiting for that one. Patrick is the third sibling of a family I've had the pleasure of teaching in APUS classes for many years. This family is great. They always make me look good by passing the exam. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Patrick Abel. That's a treat for you. <laughs> Thank you. Parents, teachers, administrators, friends and family, Graduates of Lake Mary Prep's class of 2018, we finally did it. Change. Some change is scary, some is fun. Some change can completely upend your life, flip it on its head, and tell you to rebuild it all over again. But some change can introduce you to a world of possibility. You see, one thing's true. Change can come in all forms. And if you're lucky, these radical changes happen once, maybe twice in your life. But was that the case at Lake Mary Prep? Not exactly. Tonight I'm going to talk to you about three changes that happen in the lives of these graduates. That's it, just three. Three changes that mark the end of a chapter and the beginning of a new one. Three changes that I believe perfectly sum up a life at Lake Mary Prep. Let's travel first back to the beginning of middle school. What a freaking weird time that was. I mean, most of us were struggling with homework and real classes, but we just didn't care. Everybody finally had freedom. Everybody here was super excited to eat in the cafe and eat chocolate chip cookies and never have to walk in a line around the halls anymore. It all seemed amazing. This is what we always wanted, that sweet, sweet freedom. That was until September rolled around. And by then, the fun had worn off. We were deep in schoolwork and trying to find friends and people to be with. We were meeting new teachers, new headmasters, and new administrators all the time. This was a scary new world, a world of radical change, of unfamiliar faces. Every day, it seemed like there was something new a new sport to try, a new person from around the world to talk to, a new teacher to mess with. You see, in those days, and even still, the world around all of us seemed to move quickly, but change even quicker. Life in middle school was like watching a movie at four times the normal speed. You can make out some of it, but you really didn't get it completely. But while this world around us was changing, and even our own school was changing, one thing remained constant throughout middle school. At LMP, we always had each other to lean on. We always had someone to laugh with. We always had someone to talk to. You see, while the world was changing around us, we became each other's best friends, each other's role models, each other's inspirations. If you ask me why middle school was great, I wouldn't say just academics or sports or even its small size. I wouldn't just say the Maritas Games. I wouldn't say the Montana trip either. I wouldn't say any of that. Now, you see, class of 2018, middle school was great because of all of you. After eighth grade graduation rolled around, we were finally ready for our next big change, high school. And high school is a weird time for a lot of people. You're not a kid, you're not an adult. It's just kind of four weird, awkward years. But wouldn't you know the same thing that happened in middle school happened again? Change. Now the changes granted were even scarier. We had real classes to take. We were told that whatever we did would affect where we go to college. We had to take these things called APs and could play varsity sports and another world opened up around us. But this time, there was something different. This change was serious. No longer could we mess around how we did in middle school. In high school, these things actually mattered. Granted, a lot of us didn't really listen to that advice, but that's besides the point. The fact that things actually mattered was horrifying in and of itself. And this change in high school was more pronounced. Everything that changed, changed dramatically. New headmasters, new teachers, new administrators, yes, but new opportunities, scarier and more enormous than ever. But just like middle school, we adapted. 
We changed and became better people throughout high school. And also, just like in middle school, one thing remained the same. The class of 2018 became each other's friends, each other's families thousands of miles away from home, each other's classmates and each other's teammates. We relied on each other to get through this scary, awkward, but at the end of the day, incredible journey. You see, we relied on poking fun at Aria every day to get us through our day. We relied on Ryan's constant annoyance of Mr. Chestnut and virtually every teacher out there to get us through our day. We relied on Hayden's harsh sarcasm to get us through our day. We relied on Rena's funny stories of her life to get us through our day. And we relied on Anna's just overall crazy and sometimes scary life to get us through our day. We relied on Leah's quiet judgment of all of us to get us through our day. Heck, we even relied on Seth's flat earth theory to get us through our day. <laughs> also, we relied on Walker's general holiness to get us through our day. <laughs> we even relied on Zizong being able to expertly answer any question asked to him to get us through our day. At the same time, we relied on Zach being able to sleep through every class to get us through our day. We relied on Reese's knowledge of seemingly everything to get us through our day. And we also relied on David showing up to class 15 minutes late every time to get us through our day, and so much more. You see, class of 2018, throughout high school, whether we like to admit it or not, we relied on each other to get through our days. If I was asked what made high school great, I wouldn't just say the pep rallies, or prom, or homecoming, or Mr. Harold's sarcasm, or Mr. Niven's incredible teaching skills, or Ms. Francis's crazy, sometimes terrifying stories of everything that ever happened to her. No. <laughs> Class of 2018, high school was great because of all of you. And tonight is the third change. I don't have much to say about it but this. Class of 2018, you'll make this next change great. You always have. Tonight, we embark on our last great change together as a team. In a few minutes, we will all become graduates. And this world that was once changing around us will now be changed by us. Thank you. Experiencing technical difficulties. Six years ago, in eighth period, it all started with a leak in the wall. <laughs> there were two, and they were small but mighty. I could tell my life would be changed by LMP and all the students who attended here, but especially by these two. One of them was always asking, when are we going to use this? And the other one was always telling her to shut up and do math. These feisty seventh graders were none other than your valedictorian and salutatorian. <laughs> Briefly, I thought they were shy, quiet girls, but if you've ever seen them trying to murder each other in my room or on the lacrosse field, you'll know why I changed my mind. <laughs> and then there were two more after school that I met on the volleyball team. One of them was a sixth grader. I don't remember what it was she said or did, but I immediately knew that she was the smartest sixth grader I've ever met. Sure enough, the next day, she was promoted to seventh grader Lauren Upper. <laughs> She became, without a doubt, the best pep rally MC LMP has ever had. She's still smart and full of goals, but for some reason, she was not smart enough to know that I'd say no to putting fish in the prom centerpieces. I don't care that you'll take care of them, Lauren. It's not happening. Alik, I don't care how small the masks are. You're not putting them on the fish. <laughs> the other girl on the volleyball team was tall, skinny, and I knew she'd be a great setter someday, but I had no idea she'd be so much more. And so there were four, and then two for a while, because they left. But they came back, and they became the Fab Four executive SGA team. But one stood out. And this was the one, the one that SGA had been waiting for. There was one girl who made sure everything happened perfectly, <laughs> even in my absence. She made sure every meeting had an agenda. Every SGA member had a duty. Every lacrosse teammate felt appreciated, and every senior got a beach trip. <laughs> No matter how frantic, stressed, or worried I got about things, she made sure everything and everyone was taken care of. Even though she essentially slept with her eyes open through my Algebra II class with Lauren, she made up for it by carrying large boxes to and from my classroom and impressing me with her amazing phone communication skills. She gracefully took the blame for things that weren't her fault and never whined or complained about it. She has been the perfect president, and I don't know that I could have made it through this year without her attention to detail, amazing planning skills, and willingness to drop everything to find my keys. Rena Sharma, you have been like a daughter to me, and I'm so proud of you. 
I'll turn it over to you now. LMP is ready to hear you talk and set you free after all these years. <laughs> A little over 12 years ago, I entered this school as a four-year-old for the very first time. I was so excited to wear my Disney princess backpack with my plaid LMP jumper. My mom kept snapping pictures of me and nervously double-checking I had everything I needed. That year, I became friends with Maddie, Skippy, and Patrick. In some ways, not much has changed in 12 years. Here I am today. Okay, so I didn't bring my Disney princess backpack with me, but my mom is still here with her camera snapping pictures, and probably still a little nervous for me. And I am filled with excitement for all of my fellow classmates. I remember my first day at Lake Murray Prep so vividly. It was 2006, and I transferred from pre-K to kindergarten late in the year. I was scared that since I was coming in late, that everybody had already made friends, and that nobody would want to be friends with me. But I was wrong. Every face was a friendly face. Little did I know that on my first day of school, the Lake Mary Prep would soon become my new home. So now I'm gonna take you guys down a trip, memory, a trip down memory, memory lane. It was 2008 and we were all in third grade. This year was monumental for me. I met my best friend for life. She was a new kid at school and super shy. Our third grade teacher told me that Alik Manugian needed someone to show her around. And after that day, we were inseparable. Now flashing forward to 2010. We were all in fifth grade, and I remember Skippy threatening to stab a leak with her mother's stiletto. <laughs> Another monumental moment. I felt like I was being surrounded by just my siblings instead of my classmates. Now we've made it onto middle school, a brand new chapter we were all excited for. Newfound freedom of not having to tuck in a shirt or walk in our line. This first year of middle school was also my first year playing on a sports team. Little did I know that I would be spending most of my time at LMP on the field or on the court, like many of us do. So now it's 2013, we're in seventh grade, and I met my favorite teacher ever. She coached me in volleyball as a shy, lanky seventh grader. Ever since I met Coach Rep, my life has never been the same. She's one of those people who I was always go to in a time of need, and I knew she was always gonna be there for me. She played a prominent role in my life throughout high school, through SGA and lacrosse. At the end of eighth grade, we had our annual fun spot field trip, and I remember bumping into Mr. Niven on the go-kart so I could win, and then ended up getting banned from the go-kart track. <laughs> now middle school's coming to a close. We felt like we were on top of the world at our graduation, finally going to high school to finish off our last chapter at LMP. On the night of May 30th, 2014, we were doing the same thing we are now, graduating. We cried with Leo when we thought she was leaving the school, and we attempted to do a high school musical flash mob in the middle of the ceremony. Of course, knowing our grade, it didn't work out. <laughs> now we flash forward to high school, where all the fun really begins. More homework, talk about college, AP classes, new students, everything was truly changing. We started to think about our future. We started going to every football game, every SGA event, and every dance in order to make the most out of our high school experience. We had so many mornings of laughter with friends while walking into school and pulling all-nighters to finish projects. Annie, you know what I'm talking about with our AP World Shower Curtain project. Little did we know, our time in high school was flying by. Junior year came around too quick, and all people could talk about is preparing for college and getting ready for senior year. At our ice skating field trip, I remember our whole grade fitting in a booth at Kiki's, and on the day of our homecoming dance, it rained on us during pictures, and we had to retreat to Steak and Shake. Junior year, we gave it our all in sports, playing for the seniors who were leaving and trying to step up as leaders. I remember playing lacrosse and wanting to win and fight more than ever before. I got to play on a team with my little sister for the last time. Junior year made me realize how much it meant to give it your all no matter what and fight on and off of the field. Over that summer, everything changed for us. We started looking at colleges and thinking about our future beyond LMP. Senior year was a whirlwind to say the least. Every event became a last. Our last homecoming dance, our last football game, our last field trip, our last pep rally, our last prom. The last time we would take a gov test. The last time we would stay in Coach Rep's room during fourth period study hall. Lake Mary Prep has been our home, and for a select few of us, it's been our home since we could read and write. It's hard to fathom that after tonight, I won't be walking these halls every morning anymore, 
or that I'll never be in the same room with all of you again. This is the last time we're all going to be gathered today as one LMP family. And though I'm sad we're all parting ways, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful because I know everyone in the class of 2018 has a bright future. We were all molded and shaped and forged by our experiences here at LMP. Every single person here today has something special about them. Whether it's being a celebrity quarterback like Walker, a human calculator like Annie, or a professional pilot like Patrick, our futures are bright. Now I'm going to leave you guys with a quote from one of the greatest businessmen I know, Michael Scott of the Dunder Mifflin Paper Company. <laughs> to my fellow classmates of 2018, may your hats fly as high as your dreams. Thank you. Good evening. I thought there would be light here, so I may be reading more than I had anticipated, so forgive me for that. Well, you might be wondering why an elementary and middle school teacher is speaking at the high school graduation. Well, when it comes to lifetimes at LMP, I've been here a good portion of mine. Actually, since it started, LMP started its life in 1999. Our faculty have a rich history filled with years of combined memories of all of our wonderful graduates. And I'm honored tonight to recognize four of these members of the class of 2018 as LMP lifetimers. Patrick Abel, Madison Burney, Rena Sharma, and Sydney Skippers. 2018, that seemed a long way off as these four first stepped onto our campus and began their LMP journeys. 13 years ago, when Pluto had just been downgraded as a dwarf planet, Italy won the World Cup, Google purchased a thing called YouTube, uh, and nobody knew who the Kardashians were. We were lucky enough to begin our connection to these amazing children and their families. It is common for a school to share a period of a child's school and growing years, K to five, six to eight, or even nine to 12. But we have had the rare privilege of seeing you grow from pre-K and kindergarten through 12th grade and feel more like your family than just your teachers. We have watched you learn to read, tie your shoes, write your first sentence, lose your first tooth, read your first novel, take your first exam, get your first pimple, have a fright with your, for the first time with your best friend, and know your first failures and lots of first successes. <clears throat> and to blossom into the incredible young adults that you are today. You have paved the way for other students to follow in your footsteps, and we could not be more proud of you. You exemplify not only the outstanding qualities of the entire class of 2018, but also showcase the myriad opportunities at LMP that produce academically strong and well-rounded individuals. Like your parents, your teachers are gratified to see you graduate today. But maybe lower school teachers had an advantage. We got to know you first, some of us spending seven hours a day with you, and see you as one of our own. To that end, it's fun to share just a taste about each one of our lifers and their accomplishments. As you've heard, collectively, these four have taken 15 AP classes, participated in Key Club, Breast Cancer Awareness Club, SGA, NJHS, NHS, AP Capstone, Sports Medicine, Yearbook, Thespians, and numerous sports. First, we'll recognize Patrick Abel. Patrick was quiet and shy, but played hard and was well-liked. His shoes were forever untied. I remember him actually as a charming redhead, which is kind of hard to believe looking at him today. When I taught Patrick in first grade, he enjoyed reading and writing, although not so much the handwriting part. Mrs. Ladre remembers he really enjoyed making his macrame owl and was fascinated even then that her husband was a pilot, an interest that has stood the test of time. Mrs. Skippers remembers he loved anything Top Gun and that he challenged Hunter to a wrestling match to win the privilege of marrying Sydney. <laughs> Unfortunately, he lost. Patrick competed in JH and JV basketball and varsity weightlifting. 
Next is Madison Burney. Melissa Bayless, Madison's first grade teacher, and I remember her as spunky and full of energy with her big smile and bouncing pigtails. She was always smiling and loved to help her classmates, which is still true. Madison especially enjoyed every holiday and was very generous in donating books to the classroom. I also have fond memories of reading and writing with Madison as she finished the inordinate number of workbooks her mother insisted she complete. Never one to complain, she tackled the work with a positive attitude and perseverance just as she continues to today. Madison has 12 varsity letters for volleyball, soccer, and track, advancing to regionals and breaking the school record for shot put. She played club volleyball and loves the closest of her family and the great outdoors. Now we have Rena Sharma. Allie Key, Rena's first grade teacher, remembers her as a shy and reserved, except when it came to academics. She had a very strong and positive attitude about school and was extremely serious. She took every project, assignment, and test like it was the most important thing in the world. She never groaned or complained about anything. Mrs. Key also remembers she was shy and reserved when they would have dance party in line. This was a two minute time with a disco ball when the students could let loose before changing classes. Rena wanted no part of that. <laughs> Until finally, toward the end of the year, she decided she was gonna give it a try. And when she did, she loved it. She laughed and laughed the entire time, and then some on the way to specials. After that, she wanted to have dance party all the time. <laughs> Rena also has 12 varsity letters in volleyball, lacrosse, and soccer, and holds the school record for the goalie with the most saves per season. Our, finally, our final lifer tonight is Sydney Skippers. I had to go in alphabetical order, it's the English teacher in me. Sydney's teacher, teachers, Mrs. Key, Mrs. Bayless, and Ms. Hambright, remember her as Sid, Skippy, or Skippity Doo Dah, a little girl with a big passion for literature and writing, while also quite an artist. She was excited to make her way through the classroom libraries, had a talent for writing, engaging in creative stories. A natural leader with quick wit, Sydney always kept her teachers and classmates on their toes and laughing. She was always the first one in the classroom and the last one to leave. She loved school. In sixth grade, Mrs. Hambright asked Sydney to teach a lesson on fan fiction, as she was already a fan fiction writer herself with many followers. Again, a passion that still exists today. Sydney played JV volleyball and JH varsity archery since the inception of the program, finishing as state team champion and individual state runner-up. Will you please four come down to the podium and receive, receive your awards. Have a picture, yes. You're supposed to have a picture. Ah, perfect. Awesome. Thank you, LMP Lifetimers, and your families for your commitment, dedication, support, and representation, and the members of the class of 2018 and Lake Murray Prep with distinction. It was an honor and privilege to have you here with us for the first leg of your academic career. We wish you well in the future and know you will continue to make us proud. In recognition of the importance that faculty members play in the lives of students, we have decided to bring back an award that has not been awarded for a number of years, and that is the Headmaster's Award. It is granted to a deserving teacher or staff member, one who goes far beyond the call of service in contributing to the LMP community. So, Kathy Benefil, will you please come stand by my side as I explain why you are the recipient of the 2018 Headmaster Award.
Kathy's commitment to LMP goes far beyond the job description she is compensated for. In the athletic arena, Kathy is the FHSAA school representative, assuring that each athlete and each coach at LMP meets the state requirements and each and every competitive game played is recorded appropriately. Kathy collects and organizes athletic paperwork for all LMP student athletes. She assists in scheduling of home and away athletic events. She assists in game management of LMP athletic home events. She coordinates the transportation for away games. She coordinates the officials for home games. She manages the athletic portion of the Griffin Guardian. She is a varsity swimming head coach and she is the interim varsity tennis head coach. In addition to Kathy's athletic responsibilities, Kathy teaches two honors level math classes and religiously tutors her students in between her athletic duties. Kathy is a firm believer that critical thinking is key to math understanding and has taken on several projects with her math students in their maker space to assure that her students relate math concepts to the real world. Kathy is the advisor for the National Junior Honor Society for 7th through 12th, uh, 9th grades with those students providing service trips to a TRIA assisted living to play Jeopardy with the residents. She also accompanies students to Ronald McDonald House to cook for families with ill children. Kathy runs the Special Olympics program on Saturdays at LMP, which has been a life-changing experience for many of our LMP students. They have told me so. Kathy is quick to volunteer to chaperone middle school trips and events organizes the annual NJHS Teacher Appreciation Breakfast for faculty and helps organize the annual Lake Scary 5K Run. There is no better ambassador for all that LMP embodies than Kathy Benefiel, selflessly giving to generations of graduates. For all of the above reasons, I am more than honored to give you the Headmaster's Award this year, Kathy Benefiel. It's now my pleasure to introduce to you this year's valedictorian, Alik Manugian. <clears throat> Alik has a 4.5 accumulative GPA. She has taken seven AP courses before her senior year, earning a top score of five on all but one of them, and has recently sat for four additional AP courses whose grades are not yet in. Alik's honors over the years include the following. A first place at the Science Fair in ninth grade, National Spanish Honor Society for two years, including co-presidency. Four years in the Key Club, including Distinguished Service Award in 10th grade. National Junior Honor Society in seventh, eighth, and ninth grades, including president of NJHS in ninth grade. And then National Honor Society in 10th, 11th, and 12th grade, including the presidency in 12th grade of that organization. A role in student government for four years, including this year's executive logistics coordinator. On the varsity lacrosse team for six years, including captain for two of them on the varsity soccer team for three years, including captain this year. Alik has had a special working relationship with senior advisor Marina Rep. Here is what Ms. Rep has said about Alik. Alik is and always has been an amazing student. When asked to do something, she will always go above and beyond, which is how she got to this number one spot. When she wasn't in class this year, you could find her meticulously going over the yearbook to try to make it perfect, when we all know yearbooks are never perfect. You could find her being the perfect teacher's assistant for Mr. Niven, never cutting corners. She went out of her way to find the perfect prom decor at the last minute when our plans failed. On the soccer and lacrosse fields, she spent hours practicing and has become one of the best players for both programs.
She doesn't score a lot of goals, but she gives her team all the opportunities to succeed and is never upset when she doesn't get the recognition that she deserves. Alik doesn't do things for the praise or the glory. She works her hardest to be the best version of herself so she can be proud, yet humble. She puts others first in the process, which is why she is so loved by her peers and teachers. It is my honor to present to you the 2017-18 LMP valedictorian, Alik Manugian. Good evening, fellow graduates, families, friends, teachers, faculty, and administration, and congratulations, class of 2018. Before I get started, I want to take a moment to thank some key individuals. First and foremost, mom and dad, I love you. Mighty, I grew up with you showing me what it means to love who you are and to never settle. You are the reason I've grown into the confident woman I am. Heidi, I grew up you, watching you work tirelessly day and night in order for me to have every opportunity in the world. You are the reason I know the importance of hard work. To my siblings, what would I do without you guys? Devine, thank you for always being there for me no matter what, even when I go out of my way to annoy you. I will miss you terribly next year, but I know you're off to do great things at Columbia University. Varak, thank you for always looking out for me and for taking your job as big brother very, very seriously. Bahakin, thank you for always being ready to go on an adventure with me. It was just me and you this year, and next year it'll be just you, but don't worry, if you need me, I'll be there. I also want to say thank you to my grandparents, both here and in Armenia, because without them, I would not have the amazing parents and family that I do. It all started with them. To my friends, these four years would have been so unbelievably different without the love and support you guys have shown me. To my teachers and coaches, you have helped build my character and shape who I am. And finally, special thanks to Coach Rep. Throughout my years at LMP, you've not only been my teacher, advisor, SGA advisor and coach, but so much more. After 10 years at Lake Mary Prep, the fact that I'm graduating tonight still seems unreal. Year after year, I've grown surrounded by my second family. So like Patrick said, tonight will bring major change. Behind me is a group of young men and women, each on the cusp of a new beginning. They will be moving forward in their lives into a world of possibility. But how will each of us know what choices to make, what opportunities to seek out, what life to live? I believe the answer is quite simply this, our passions. Already so many of us have passions. Annie's love for math, Patrick's love for flying, Evan's love for long snapping, Rena's love for leading, Arya's love for basketball, Daniel's love for baseball, Saria's love for running, Moises's love for soccer, and so much more. But some of you haven't found your passions yet and some have yet to find more. The reason why finding these passions is so important is because passion itself is a driving force, a fire that you have within you, giving meaning to everything you do. It is through our passions that we are able to impact the world around us. Because when you wholeheartedly care about something, you don't settle. You don't take no as an answer, and you don't cut your losses. You push for more, you make it happen, and you succeed. Passion inspires us to be the best we can be because when you follow your passions, you do things you genuinely care about and are invested in. And thus, I urge each and every one of you to focus on yourselves as you move forward. Discover your passions and run with them. Finding these passions can be as simple as taking a class you've always wanted to try, but sometimes you'll be forced to step outside of your comfort zone. Build up your courage to apply to an internship or join a club to explore an interest you've always had. Take the chance, because as Joseph Campbell said, passion will move men beyond themselves, beyond their shortcomings, beyond their failures. I wish you all the best in your futures. Thank you.
Mr. Delman, I hereby certify that the students before you tonight have successfully completed all of the requirements set forth by the State of Florida and the Florida Council of Independent Schools for graduation and will now be awarded their diploma. Patrick Abel. Andy Allison. Josie Lee Baker. Sheer Bow. <laughs> Moises Barros. <laughs> Two and Bowie. Madison Lane Burney. <laughs> Seth Cloutier. <laughs> Gojun Ding. Wei Fang Ding. Evan Dvorak. Walker Grantham Dykus. Zachary Devin Epperson. <laughs> Aria Eskandari. Karina Aaron Ferran. <laughs> Hayden Galena. Jason Gaston.
Ryan Neil Hariri. Anna Rose Hogan Miller. Dion Dion Hu. Thuang Celine Hoon. Sean Cordrell Johnson. Tin Young Ki. Leah Christine Klinker. Shivani Katari. Annie Corman Galanova. Reese Paul Lyle. Daniel Alejandro Lopez. Cyria Celeste Lottimore. Alik Manugian. David Melillo. Roy Ann Quinn. Man Ton Nguyen. Win. Denali Roach. Hiromi Saito. Rina Raina Sharma. (laughs) 
Zoe Shen. Sydney Chase Skippers. Satoshi Tachikawa. Yu Ha Tian. Jacob Cole Angaro. Lauren Nicole Upper. Yushuan Wang. Judah Winfrey. Wu Cheng Yi Amy Xia Zhang Xian Zhao Zishwan Zhao. Student Government Executive Officers, will you please come to the floor? <laughs> Congratulations, graduates. Please move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left. The Art of Gratitude, a deep appreciation for what we have right now at any given time, is not innate. As educators, we feel a responsibility to partner with parents in the endeavor of teaching our children to be grateful. There are big moments, like tonight, where gratitude is ever-present and freely given. Equally as important are the small moments. Through advisory, our students have also learned what we refer to as lollipop moments from a popular TED Talk by Drew Dudley. It is a moment where one person changes the life or perspective of another through a seemingly simple gesture. Dudley says that when we start to look for and acknowledge lollipop moments, we add value to everyday leadership and kindness and see the change that we can make happen by making a difference on a daily basis in the world around us. Tonight, however, is one of those big moments. We are grateful for what these graduates have contributed to our LMP family. 
We are grateful to you, their parents, for entrusting them to us as educators. And we are grateful for the opportunity to commemorate this moment with letters of appreciation from the young men and women on this stage as they share their gratitude with those of you who have had an impact on their journey. As I invite the seniors to hand out their letters, I ask you to reflect on the words of John F. Kennedy. As we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them.
grandparents, aunts and uncles, brothers and sisters, alumni and friends of this year's graduates, thank you for sharing with us at LMP this journey of nurturing, educating, and yes, sometimes even cajoling this group of fi fine young men and women graduating before you. We share in your pride as they now are well prepared for this new phase of their lives. Teachers and staff, thank you for being mentors, guides, surrogate parents, and role models to yet another generation of graduates. It is you that they will remember best as they reflect upon their LMP experiences in years to come. And graduates, I'd like my last words of this evening to be directed to you. As headmaster, I speak on behalf of the entire teaching and administrative staff in wishing for you what you individually wish for yourselves, each with your unique dreams and your unique passions. Listen carefully to this poem. It's called A Graduation Blessing because I think it wraps it up pretty well. Embarking on a journey which began some time ago, how could you have imagined all the things you'd come to know? You learned to use each challenge as an opportunity to overcome each problem despite adversity. It wasn't always easy keeping up with what was cool, but you held on tight to your beliefs and carried them through school. You found your voice and chose a path that honors who you are and that, I think, may be your greatest lesson learned thus far. For no one could be prouder of the person you've become, and that is why I'm confident that the best is yet to come. May you never waste a moment wishing life was not unfair. Rather, use the gifts God gave you to change the world out there. Your graduation signals us that you are on your way so spread your wings and fly, my friends, forever and a day. <laughs> Guests and graduates, you are invited at the end of the ceremony, after our graduates walk off, to have some food and refreshments with us out in the hallway or out in front of the school, depending upon what the weather's like. I can't see from here whether, where we set it up yet, but we're flexible at LMP. <laughs> A special thank you to Lafleur for the greenery you set up in the front here today. And now, will the graduating class of 2018 please rise. You guys can throw your hats if you want. Music maestro.